In this video, I'm going to show you how to program a contact form in HTML and tag it to a PHP uh, code. So, to all you guys who are not uh, very comfortable with PHP, you can actually make a simple contact form like this in a HTML uh, page here, and uh, you can uh, I can give you the PHP code uh, uh, codes, and you can uh, d make a separate page for the PHP and then tag it in. So, let's get started. I am opening my Dreamweaver and in Dreamweaver I have a simple uh, uh, one page uh, template I have created as you can see it's just my header and some menus uh, with my logo and uh, the google map here and here is the contact form this is where I want to get my contact form here so what I do is uh, I will just you can just preview this on the browser and what you will see is you will just see my logo and the google map and uh, nothing on the contact form so what we're going to do is actually uh, write a contact uh, form so before that i go into my um, uh, yeah i go into my um, contact.html since i have a, a one page template what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy and paste this and call this thank you dot php okay just update it now for <coughs> now let's get into the contact form what what you will see here is after this you will need to put in your uh, make a form so first I will go to insert and then I will uh, create a form for this like say form and then you just have to say ok and when you go to the design view what you will see is you will see a box with red dotted lines on it like uh, if you can see here this is uh, the form in inside which we are going to put all the uh, text fields and all that now uh, inside this what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make um, uh, I'm going to create a table and say uh, one row and two columns I'll align the first one to the left so left and then go to the top and then the right one to the it should align to the right and top now uh, I'm gonna uh, keep a margin of one uh, row for uh, between each uh, text field so we'll create about okay so here let's say we have the name and here the email then this is the telephone and this is for the message okay and uh, yeah so now go to the right uh, right box and then go to insert form and then say text field text field here you will have to label it as uh, you will have to give the ID as say name here and nothing else just put name so when you click on the box inside you will see the text field uh, with the name uh, defined in it same thing you will have to do for the email go to insert form and say text field and just say email and then for the telephone you just say form text field phone and then finally for the message you can actually go and put a text field and say M E S S G message and then say ok and then if you click on the message you can see the text field is uh, defined here as a uh, thing you can um, set the character width for this you can uh, put it a multi line or single line uh, and whatever you want you can define it if you put a multi line you will get a scroll bar here and then finally what you do is you need to have a button to submit this form so you go to form again and then click on button and then say submit okay so what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a button to submit let's align it this to the left and here we go so uh, if you save this you actually have a form this is how your form will look you have the name email telephone and message and then when you click on it it will submit now what you have to do is you have uh, the second thing is you will have to uh, go to uh, the URL here and copy these codes from here 
like if you copy this uh, like uh, you saw earlier I've created a thank you .php. you can go to this thank you .php and uh, near the, uh, the contact form where the contact form is there you can say um, here below you can just put thank you and then uh, you copy these codes into this page S so what happens is uh, sorry I need to copy these codes okay and uh, when you copy it here and uh, go to the design view you will just see a piece but all the program is written already for you and this is how it will look so, so thank you is already written by you so that you can mark this and then this is the code for you here what happens is this is a input field where you have your name email the phone and the message the four fields we created and then this will be the message uh, when you click on the uh, submit button it will take you to this uh, thank you dot php uh, page and then it will uh, say thank you we will get back to you soon this is the message that will appear and then uh, uh, in the um, at the bottom what you'll see is this is what we have defined for the form details is name we have the name it should be the same as what we have mentioned here it should be the same as what we have defined already in the contact uh, thing like for example email we just say email with a small e and this is what this is how it is you can call this whatever you want at the uh, this is just a label and then this is the email id to where you will redirect your contact form details to go to so uh, you just save this and then you FTP both these files thank you and contact.html you FTP it and then you will see it on your thing fine this is uh, the contact.html so this is uh, oh sorry I forgot to do one uh, more important thing at the contact form where you, you can click on any of the box inside here and then look for a form here form here and then when you click on this you will have to actually tag this action script you have to thank you dot php and then you save it what happens is uh, now you you need to upload these uh, to your uh, with FTP upload it to your server and then what you will see is you will see a contact form here now let's put in the details for example uh, I, I want the name to be entheos and uh, mail dot at entheosweb.com the telephone number and a text message in it and you submit so what happens is when you press submit it will actually take you to a thank you dot php uh, page which you already created and the message will uh, pop up like this thank you we will get back to you soon this is exactly what uh, is mentioned here that is we will get back to you soon is what is mentioned here and uh, you will see that all the details now coming in like for example uh, you will have the you will have to go to this uh, email ID and just check if all the uh, thing has come yes your mail has already come as you can see here the mail is from mail at entheosweb.com and this is from Clement at entheosweb and you will have the name as we put it as entheos in the mail at entheos web telephone number and the text message so this is how uh, this is a simple contact form which you can easily program you can actually add uh, the number of fields you want uh, here depending upon your requirement so you can also go to our entheos uh, website uh, our main website for uh, and uh, this is our website uh, entheosweb.com and this is our logo as you can see here you can go to the search bar and there you can actually uh, search for video tutorials on contact.php uh, 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 in this tutorial you will learn how to create a simple contact form in PHP and also to put a, a recapture Google recapture code uh, if you guys are uh, familiar with PHP you can go ahead and program it but for all those guys who are not uh, comfortable with PHP you can create a PHP by uh, uh, I've got the codes already written out here you can go to our URL here and just copy the space from here you can uh, open your HTML editor like Dreamweaver and uh, paste these codes um, 
like I've done it here so basically your codes will uh, start from here and end up till here so let me uh, take you through this uh, these codes uh, I've just created if you look at the design view I've just created three fields that is uh, your name email and message uh, and then uh, you'll put in your captcha code and right now I've not put in my captcha code I've just uh, uh, created three fields so uh, basically I'm um, in PHP, just open your PHP tags and then in your action form, you call for your three fields. Like in this case, I've got your na name, email, and message. And then finally, you uh, uh, the you, uh, uh, you put in the results here, like with the name, email, message. And if uh, you p post a condition like if and else, where uh, if all the fields are uh, required and uh, if uh, one of the fields are not uh, uh, submitted, they will uh, it'll pop out a message saying all fields are required and take you back to the form. And then finally, this is. Uh, where you will have to change your uh, email ID to this and this is uh, right now I put in my email ID and then uh, uh, yes and uh, this will be the final message that you will see on the contact uh, form when you submit it fine uh, let's uh, upload this and uh, uh, FTP it and see it on the web browser so when you go back uh, you will see a simple form like this without a capture code now uh, you can put in whatever you, uh, you want and then submit it and uh, you will uh, g get a, a contact form like for example I'll put in and the OS and I'll say this is uh, um, mail at ntosweb.com and just say test a message and then you will see that this uh, your message was successfully sent. You will see that your email was successfully sent is a message uh, thrown because that is uh, that is how we have uh, given the end result as. So let's go to our inbox. my inbox. You will see that there's a mail from Entheos, mail at entheosweb.com to uh, my email ID, um, email ID which I've configured and this is the message which we typed into the uh, box. So this contact form doesn't do anything. I've coded it this correctly as you saw we uh, got the uh, message from uh, test message in our inbox. So basically this form will only submit or uh, uh, submit an email if the user has verified himself successfully. Now uh, I'm assuming you know what ca uh, capture is. So just in case you don't I'm going to give you a quick background of what we're going to be doing today. We are going to be uh, incorporating Google's new uh, recapture software script into our form. This is a basic uh, preview of what we are doing. Uh, a capture field basically prevents spam on your website. There's a lot of scripts that are going around today literally uh, scan the web, find forms, submit them with bogus information. It can create a huge amount of uh, inbox spam and uh, just basically makes you receive a whole lot of junk mails and if it's a registration form it just creates uh, bogus accounts which is just uh, terrible and a waste of time uh, it clutters your database and uh, you don't need that so what I'm going to be showing you is how to uh, put your capture system into your forms that uh, so that you won't have that problem anymore I just want to give you a quick preview of why, why this is such a good option for you. There are other forms of capture that are available. This is the older version of uh, Google's recapture uh, code. This uh, I've never really used this myself, but uh, it's been a very successful project because it was. Uh, free as I said uh, this is an updated version but uh, this is what uh, a lot of recapture system looks and work like uh, basically it just has an image uh, either words or random letters and the user is required to copy those words into this field and if it's correct it'll submit the form or if it's not correct it'll ask him to redo the whole thing again and the idea is that a robot cannot submit this form because there are, uh, we can't copy this image 
so uh, the problem is uh, the the reason why I uh, didn't use this is because it's very difficult if you look at this even now to read these words uh, it's just uh, almost impossible and I never use this myself because I didn't like it if I did come across this uh, in websites I really couldn't submit the form because I couldn't actually look into it and uh, it really didn't work so that's why uh, Google has come out with a new recapture code uh, which is so it has to do is just click this box and when they click uh, you should uh, you will see the tick so the reason why this is so much better is because the user is not required to uh, do anything that is time consuming all they have to do is just tick that box uh, I'm not a robot and then uh, uh, you will have a simple test to do and uh, it just watches your cursor as you move it to click that box and it judges based on how it moves around the screen if you are human or a robot because as you can imagine it's very different but as I said it's not really important for you to understand how it works you just need to make sure you code it so that it actually works properly on your site so I've come back to Dreamweaver and this is the template that I've created we are going to be writing the PHP to handle the form so let's start uh, I'll come back to Google's recapture website and uh, we're going to start setting up this up so uh, if you click on this uh, get uh, and you can also go to, go to Google and type uh, Google recapture and then this the first link will look like this so here you just have to click on this uh, blue button get recapture so you will actually need to sign in if you have not actually signed in I've already signed in from Entheos so you will uh, if you already uh, if you already have an account it will show you or if, if you're a first timer you will have to go down and uh, register on a new site for if this is the first time you're logging in this is probably what you'll see so you'll be able to actually register your website put in your label put in all your domains here and uh, the other details and then just click on register and then go through the process to register this site when you have done this all you have to do is just you have to just select and install this on your site so yeah it will uh, redirect it uh, to a different uh, screen and um, you will see that uh, you have a set key here and a secret key so there are actually uh, three steps to this first is you uh, you have a site key which I, I, and a secret key which for the time being I have uh, covered it uh, basically for security reasons and then uh, you have uh, uh, Google has already given you a client-side integration where you can place this uh, snippet uh, before the closing head tag and then you can take uh, this code from here and place it in the form into the contract form where you want this uh, capture to show okay fine so basically you'll have to keep these codes uh, somewhere very confidentially and safe because you're going to be needing that uh, um, while doing this okay so uh, I'll go back to my Dreamweaver and uh, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, copy this uh, like the step one paste a snippet before your closing head so I will go here and I will look for my closing closing head is here and this is where I paste that so having done that I go back again uh, second step where paste a snippet at the end of the form where you want this capture or widget to appear so I copy that and paste it at a place just below the message and uh, before the uh, uh, send email button so basically um, I'm gonna put the code here as you can see uh, this is my message uh, thing and uh, I've uh, Put, the, put in this uh, uh, code right here so this is where I need to uh, put in the codes as well so uh, as you've already seen uh, we have a site key information which I s asked you to keep it safely uh, you'll have to copy that and put it here right now I'm not putting my uh, original codes I just put in some letters alphabets here so that uh, you will know 
you will know what to put here fine so you now uh, uh, cover this step you have put that in the he uh, header tag before the header tag and the one uh, this snippet uh, in the form where you want the recapture or visit to appear now uh, let's go back to your to actually look at this form it will look like this and when you put in your name uh, email and message and click on send email it will not validate because this uh, is uh, not recognizing any PHP for which we need to create some PHP uh, into your contact.php uh, form. So go right on top where uh, you will have your doc type and your head tags and all those. So before that you create some space and then uh, you will have to uh, put in uh, the, these codes. So basically you will have to put in all these codes if you want these codes um, you can go to a uh, URL here and then copy this code from here and uh, paste it uh, on the top of the PHP uh, page now I'm going to take you through uh, these um, codes because uh, it's very important for you to understand uh, why I'm coding it like this so uh, now we're going to open and close the PHP tags and uh, within that we're going to put uh, write in all our PHP codes at the very top uh, you will have to uh, wrap everything because we are going to run this only when the form is actually submitted if and I said post and only want this code to run if the contact button is submitted the next thing is to create two variables uh, this is what we have done here that we are going to be uh, using in our query when we handle the response first uh, we will call the URL and this URL be equal to HTTPS uh, Google uh, dot com recapture and, and the second variable is for the secret key or your private key if you recall earlier uh, in the tutorial that on clicking on the get recapture code button on the Google website we had two keys uh, one was a site key and uh, that we used further down the tip tags uh, this is a secret key now we we are going to handle a variable called response and uh, if you look at this line of we will uh, say a uh, file get uh, content and call the and it's uh, it's a combination of text and variables and we uh, write it as a private key variable secret is equal to uh, parameter and the um, uh, dollar private key is the value coming from the variable we also need to attach two parameters we need to uh, have a symbol and symbol uh, since this is our second uh, parameter and uh, dollar underscore post and g and uh, g hyphen recapture hyphen response which will be a remote id coming from the server itself all in uppercase a few things to make sure that you do when you write out this line of code is that you cannot have any space or white lines in this uh, line of program we need to create another variable call and call it data so uh, and uh, JSON and call for a response variable we have done almost everything in terms of server validation uh, getting the response and handling it we are also going to use some of the if statements if you look uh, look here the if and else comes in and I set and call our data variable based on its uh, success we need to say and then uh, everything here that it comes uh, in a condition that it is true what happens is that a user is very uh, when the user verifies himself then uh, the else statement will come uh, if the above is not true or if it's false the user is not verified so let us say um, header location and we call the uh, contact.php uh, which we are working right now with so when we say if uh, the condition is uh, true just pass and uh, if the if the condition is not true you uh, the capture fail what we're doing here is uh, if it is successful and the user is verified we are going to redirect him back to the same page and if he fails the else statement will be applied and then we redirect him, redirect him back to the page itself where the parameter says capture fail fine so having done this uh, you save it and then go down to the form 
where I've written another set of codes. You need to actually copy these codes from here and uh, where I basically called for my um, uh, capture pass and capture fail and just giving a statement in a div like when it's uh, everything is true you when capture pass you just say message sent and then if the capture fails you just say capture failed and please try again. Now you save that and uh, go to your FTP and uh, you upload this uh, you will see that your contact form will look like this you can actually put in your name as Entheos and then you can put in your mail at mail uh, and then your message as test message and uh, when you click on send what happens is it will not go through because you have not captured uh, done your capture codes so all fields are required please fill in the form again so when you click on this you again go back to the same uh, place where you started from again then you say uh, Antios and then you say mail uh, then you say again uh, test message and then when you click on I am not a robot what happens is it'll uh, give you a small test select all images with pickup trucks so you can see any pickup trucks I can see uh, one two or three now suppose you click on everything and you're very confused and you don't know what to do you can always go and refresh here and then it'll take you to another place where you, it'll ask you to select places with swimming pool I can see one two and um, that's it uh, you can verify suppose you find all this very confusing you can keep refreshing it till you see something here they're, sh they're showing you pancakes or uh, you can also take another test like uh, there's a uh, audio challenge here you click on this button and then you play on this someone will speak to you and will say uh, those codes to you they will say uh, the numbers uh, here and then you will have to just uh, type it in so when you uh, type the numbers which uh, they have uh, told you then uh, click on verify and it will verify so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to this test where I need to um, uh, select all rings I think this is a drink and this is a drink uh, let me choose two eggs too and uh, something which is not a drink and verify let's see what happens it says please solve more to be verified fine then uh, pickup trucks are there we'll have to just select the pickup trucks and uh, we'll see what happens I've selected these two and say verify and then you see there's a tick mark here I'm not a robot so fine with this if you send an email and uh, go to your inbox now your email was successfully sent if you go to, uh, to your thing and say you see that it's come from Entheos and it's gone to Clement EntheosWeb.com and this is message from Entheos contact form and this is the test message so you know how to work with a PHP form and inserting a Google recapture code you can um, if you want a step-by-step -step tutorial you can go to our Entheos website which is here you can as you can see a logo here go to the search bar and uh, uh, search for video tutorials on contact uh, forms okay thank you for watching this video